It has been said that there are more animals that have already gone extinct compared to animals that still exist today. Many of these extinct animals disappeared only recently, and we're fortunate that footage of them still exists. Today we're going to be looking at 10 rare videos of extinct animals. Make sure you stay tuned till number 1. It is a tale that's sure to tug at your heartstrings. Number 10. The Bubble Heart Beast. The Bubble Heart Beast was a type of antelope that was native to Africa, just north of the Sahara. They had a coat of short fur that was a uniform sandy color except for gray patches on the side of its muzzle and the tuft of its tail which was black. They were three and a half feet at the shoulder and had U-shaped horns when viewed from the front. They were also social animals described as living up in herds of up to 200 animals. The Bubble Heart Beast was domesticated by Egyptians 3,000 years ago for food and sacrifice. Now it's extinct because of overhunting in the 1900s. It is thought that the Bubal Harpies went extinct in 1923 until they were found in the wild. Then in 1950, the French hunted them to extinction. This poor species just can't catch a break. When the French conquered Algeria in 1847, entire herds of Bubal antelopes were killed off by the colonial military, who considered them as pest animals. By the middle of the 1860s, the animals were restricted to the mountain range of northwestern Africa, near and within the Sahara Desert. The animal went completely extinct, unfortunately, in Tunisia in 1902, Morocco in 1925, and in Algeria around the same time. Number 9. The Baiji. The Baiji, or Chinese river dolphin, lived for 20 million years in the Yangtze River, China. The Baiji's demise was rapid and shocking. It went from a healthy population of some 6,000 animals to extinct in a few decades. That might sound like a long time compared to us humans, but look at it in terms of evolution. It's nothing more than the blink of an eye. Before China's industrialization in the 1950s, there were an estimated 6,000 Baiji living in the Yanks thriving ecosystem. They migrated up and downstream. By the mid-1980s, surveys revealed that only an estimated few hundred Baiji survived. By 1990, the Baiji were critically endangered. There were only thought to be a hundred left, and in 1997, only 13 individuals remained. The nosedive in Baiji numbers was fast and shocking. The primary factor driving this decline was probably unsustainable bycatch in local fisheries, particularly rolling hook longlines, together with wider scale habitat degradation. The Baiji was declared extinct in December 2006, following an intense, carefully managed and thorough dedicated survey of the entire Yanks River. This study failed to spot or hear a single specimen. There have been no verified sightings since, and so the only conclusion we can come to is that the Baiji is gone forever, extinct, and humankind is entirely to blame. Number 8. The Hawaiian Crow This native Hawaiian bird was declared extinct in the wild in 2002 when the last two known wild individuals disappeared. Some birds remain in captivity, and between 1993 and 1999, more than 40 birds were hatched in a captive breeding program. The birds were released into a lightly managed habitat and closely monitored, but releases were abandoned in 1999 because of increasing mortality. The reason for the birds' extinction is not fully understood, but researchers speculate that an introduced disease such as avian malaria might have played a significant role in the species' decline. However, the flame of reviving these species was never extinguished, and in 2017, thanks to the years of work put in by conservationalists, 11 of these birds were released at the Pua Makala Natural Area Reserve. And while this revival is still fragile, it seems to be going well so far. In January 2018, the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources announced that all 11 Hawaiian crows are thriving in the wild. That's about more than three months after their initial release. Here's to hoping that Hawaii will be filled with these amazing birds once again. Number 7. The West African Black Rhino The West African Black Rhino is one of the more recent species to go extinct, and it's even more tragic when you find out why. Once found in several countries in the southeast region of the African continent, it was officially declared extinct in 2011, with the last confirmed sighting of a live, live specimen back in 2006. Habitat loss is considered one of the many reasons why this animal went extinct, as well as sport hunting. But the main reason of the eventual decline of the species was poaching. These animals were hunted illegally for their horns, which in Chinese traditional medicine are believed to hold magical powers. Rhino horns are considered a cure-all and are used to treat a variety of illnesses including fevers, impotence, and even cancers. 
The Chinese believed in its healing properties so much so that in the 1950s, Chinese leader Mao Zedong encouraged the Chinese people to use them instead of Western medicine. Oh gee, thank you Mao, because you didn't want to pony up for some flippin' aspirin, now you got an extinct species. All be the praise to you. Number 6. The Lace and Rail the Lazen Rail, a tiny 6-inch long flightless bird, was first seen in 1828 by Russian sailors on Lazen Island. Fearless and easy to catch, Lazen Rails foraged on the ground for flies, moths, and scraps of meat from bird carcasses. They also reportedly fed on petrol and turn eggs. Along with the impact from guano mining on Lazen Island, which began in 1890, the introduction of rabbits in the 1910s decimated native vegetation, leaving the rail susceptible to extinction. In an effort to create insurance populations, rails were captured and released on Leonsky Island, Pearl and Hermes Reef, and Midway Atoll. Although Laysan rails initially thrived on Midway Atoll, they became extinct with the instruction of black rats via Navy ships in 1943. The last Laysan rails were seen in June 1944, and 1945 survey did not find rails on any of the other islands. Number 5. The Heath Hen the Heath Hen is a unique eastern subspecies of the Greater Prairie Chicken that quietly blinked out of existence in the early 1930s despite decades of unprecedented effort to save it. During colonial times, the Heath Hen ranged through scrubby coastal habitats from Maine to the Carolinas. However, European settlers brought increased hunting pressure and suppressed the fires that had kept coastal headlands free of large vegetation for thousands of years. This altered the bird's preferred habitat. By 1870, heath hens had completely vanished from the mainland and remained only on Martha's Vineyard, a tiny island off the coast of Cape Cod. Officials on Martha's Vineyard banned hunting and established a preserve to protect the remaining birds' habitat on the island. At first, things appeared to be looking up. The population increased from less than 100 to around 2,000 by 1916. However, the heath hens' good fortunes wouldn't last. In May 1916, a devastating wildfire swept through the heath hen breeding grounds. The following year, the annual census turned up only 150 birds. And although through bad luck, most of the survivors were males, leaving the population dangerously imbalanced. Inbreeding and diseases carried by domestic poultry took a toll over the next decade. And in 1927, only 13 birds remained. Then two in 1928. And then in the spring of 1929, only a single survivor returned to the blind that biologists had set up at the remaining Heath Hens mating ground at a local farm. The lone survivor whom they called Booming Ben was last seen in March 1932. Rest in peace, chickens. Rest in peace. Number 4. The Golden Toad The Golden Toad was a small toad that was from a small, high-altitude region north of the city of Monteverde, Costa Rica. An endemic species that could only be found in pristine cloud and elfin forests. The Golden Toad was first described by scientists in 1966, but soon after the toad's discovery, its population began to dwindle. In 1987, between April and July, researchers noted nearly 1,500 adult toads scattered between a few shallow pools around the forest. But in 1988, scientists found only one toad, a male in the same area. They documented nine more a couple miles away. The last sighting of a single Golden Toad was on May 15, 1989, and it has since been classified as extinct. The toad's restricted range, climate change, and over-harvesting for the pet trade contributed to its extinction. Many have searched for the golden toad, but unfortunately, none have been found. Number 3. The Spix Macaw The Spix Macaw achieved on-screen fame in 20th Century Fox's Rio as a charming parrot named Blue who travels thousands of miles in an attempt to save his species. However, a recent study revealed that the magnificent bird is now extinct in the wild. Kind of an ironic little twist, isn't it? The movie portrayed the real-life struggles of the Spix macaws that followed the journey of a male raised in captivity who traveled from Minnesota to Rio de Janeiro to mate with the last female of the species. It ended happily with the two characters falling in love and having a baby. But sadly, the reality is much, much grimmer. According to a CNN report, the last Spix macaw most likely died in the year 2000, 11 years before the movie was released. It's believed that deforestation is the main reason for the extinction of this bird species. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at the most famous piece of footage ever taken of a now extinct animal, which was once considered the greatest of all marsupial predators. Number 2. The Tasmanian Tiger 
On the 7th of September 1936, only two months after the species was granted protected status, Benjamin, the last known Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, died from exposure at the Bamaris Zoo in Hobart. While it is estimated there were around 5,000 thylacines in Tasmania at the time of European settlement. However, excessive hunting combined with factors such as habitat destruction and introduced disease led to the rapid extinction of the species. The last known shooting of a wild thylacine took place in 1930, and by the mid part of that decade, sightings in the wild were extraordinarily rare. Authorities from scientific and zoological communities became concerned about the state of the decimated thylacine population and pushed for preservation measures to be undertaken, leading to the species being protected. Many expeditions have been organized to search for the thylacine in the Tasmanian wilderness, and there continue to be many reported sightings by people who believe the animal is still about. Despite this, there is no conclusive evidence of the continued existence of the thylacine, and the animal has been officially extinct since 1986. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Lonesome George Lonesome George was the last of the Pinta Island giant tortoise, a subspecies of giant tortoise that can only be found on Pinta Island in the Galapagos. For four decades, the 100-year-old reptile served as a conservation icon on Ecuador's Galapagos archipelago. His subspecies hunted for meat and tortoise oil all but vanished in the 1900s. His plight is the only known member of his subspecies led to a series of ill-fated attempts to provide him with a mate. But despite the best efforts of conservationalists and the presence of two female giant tortoises from a close subspecies sharing his enclosure at the Charles Darwin Research Station on Santa Cruz, George remained a solitary creature. This apparent aversion to females is what earned him his nickname. He finally died on June 24, 2012, the only thing remaining of his legacy is a lifelike mount at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Although his death marks the end of the purebred Pinta Island tortoise, but there is hope that they will survive in some form. At least one first-generation descendant of the subspecies has been found at the Wolf Volcano on neighboring Isabella Island. Here's to hoping that these magnificent animals can make a comeback somehow. Which extinct animal would you like to make a comeback? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want more videos about unique and amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching everybody. See you later!